Google just dropped a new AI agent builder and some people are saying it destroys anything. But I'm not just gonna make another hype video. Yes, this thing is powerful and it will replace the need for NADN for some people. For example, I built an AI agent that organizes my inbox and replies to my emails for me using a single prompt and it works directly inside of Gmail. But it's not as simple as Google just killed NADN. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how this works, the real automations you could build in seconds, and my honest thoughts on whether this actually replaces your automation tools like NADN and Zapier. So really quick, let me explain what this is. So it's called Google Workspace Studio. And Google basically added an AI agent builder directly inside of their workspace. And this is probably the easiest experience I've had when it comes to making an agent from scratch. And I'm not just saying that this video is not sponsored. Instead of building complex workflows in tools like NADN or Zapier or make.com, you can basically describe what you want in Workspace Studio will generate these steps for you. These agents can read your emails, draft replies, categorize messages, update documents in Google Doc, and manage your files in Google Drive. That's just the tip of the iceberg of what this could do. Basically, it can use information and perform actions across any of the apps that Google has, which is why everybody's freaking out about this. But the big question is, how far does this actually go? And can it really replace something like NADN? Let me walk you through exactly what it could do right now. All right, so first things first, this is the Google Workspace Studio. You will need to have a Google Workspace account. And right now you need to have a business plan that you have to pay for, but it sounds like they're rolling this out to all users over the next month or so. Luckily, I have early access that I could show to you guys. So as you can see, we have this interface here. This is one of the interfaces that we could use in order to actually use this, but we could also use this directly inside of Gmail. For example, you could just click on this button right here and then you could access your agents and you could build your agents. You could see all the activity that your agents have performed. And we're gonna talk about this here in a little bit. But first of all, let me just come here and you could see that there are a bunch of different templates here that you can just plug and play instantly right now into your Gmail or into any of your apps inside of Google. And this is a great place to start. So let me walk through a a couple of examples here. So one that seems really useful that anybody can use right now is get a daily summary of any unread emails. Let me click on what this actually looks like and what, you know, what's inside of here. So you can see that this is on a schedule. You could trigger this whenever you want. This is laid out very similar to something like Zaps inside of Zapier, where you could just schedule an automation, but instead of having to pay for Zapier credits, you can now do it directly inside of your Gmail account, which is pretty mind blowing to me. So once we schedule when we want this to run, we could then come to the next step and you could see that we could give it a prompt here. The goal here is to summarize unread emails with primary inbox, organize them into action oriented categories. Could even then go ahead and like add labels to these emails. Let me show you some of the steps here that we can do. So we could ask Gemini, which Gemini 3 is phenomenal and you've been seeing it on this channel a lot. And so this is now directly integrated into your Gmail, for example. You could extract information, you could send a webhook, so you could use this with some of your other automations. And then you could see that we have all these Gmail actions here, send an email, add a label. We could even access the chat here. So for this specific automation right here, it will recap all of our emails and then will update us in our chat. So we could just come here and then we would basically just have a breakdown saying, hey, Here's a summary of all your unread emails today. And this is basically gonna transform the way that we actually use email. I'm so excited to be using this, guys. This is a, one of the most practical AI releases and products I've seen since it integrates so seamlessly with Google's workspace. So that is one example of an agent. Let me show you a couple others here. So another example is we could get pre-meeting briefs in chat. So basically understands when you have a Google calendar event and it'll summarize all the information you need to be prepped for this meeting. Another one, as you can see, guys, there are so many, but another example is you can create Asana tasks from action items in email. So if I look at this one more a little bit closely, you could see that whenever I get an email is the trigger and then it will extract the email body and then identify if there are any action items that you need to actually perform. And then it'll create a task inside of Asana that you could just connect instantly right here. And this is a perfect example of some of the agents that you could build. And a question you might be having now is how can you begin building these yourself. And it's as simple as coming here and describing a task to Gemini. So let me go ahead and think of a task that I want my agent to perform. And then I'm going to show you how to create that. I want you to create an agent that whenever I get a new email, it'll automatically check to see if this is a potential client or AI project. If it is, then I want you to add a label to that email and label that AI client. 
as well as I want you to notify me in chat that I have a new potential client in my email inbox. So you can see, I'm just giving it a basic prompt here and I used Whisperflow to do that. Um, basically, I'm just spitting out my thoughts here uh, in order to create this automation. Don't need to do anything complex like any then and connect the nodes and everything. Very simple to do. So I'm just gonna click on create and then it's gonna bring me to this new interface here where it's gonna show all of these steps in order. And just like that, a couple of seconds later, we can now take a look at this automation flow here. So we have step one, whenever I get a new email and we could click right here for a specific email. So if we wanna basically filter out, you know, specific emails, if we want to only trigger this whenever we get an email from a specific person, we could do that. Or we can click on all emails, which is what I want to happen. That way, you know, I was able to identify everything that's in my email inbox. And then you could see that the next step is to decide, is this email about a potential client or an AI project? And guys, I don't even need to change any of this. This is all pre-configured and working properly. Um, I could go ahead and test run it, but this should work very seamlessly. If it does look like this is a potential AI project or client, it will then add this label here, AI client, and we could select any of these labels that we want. That is pretty, pretty cool. And then it will actually notify us in our chat here. And then we could go ahead and add sub steps here if we want to super seamlessly. So for the sake of it, let me go ahead and test our agent. And then I'm gonna turn this on and show you how we can access this inside of Gmail. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna click on test run. And then I'm gonna test it with this email that I just received. And you can see it's going through this workflow. So step one, when I get an email, step two, looks like it's actually going ahead and deciding what we should do here, deciding whether or not this is an AI project, for example. And guys, make sure to stay to the end of this video where I break down not only more use cases and other things to know, but whether or not this actually does replace the need for something like NADN, because I think it will for some people. All right, so went through all of these processes. You could see decided if it's true, whether or not it is a potential AI client, and then it supposedly added a label called AI project, and then it also notified me in chat. So let me go ahead and see if this is all true. So if I come over to chat, you could see that I did get notified here. And you have a new potential client email from brockmesserage at gmail.com. And then inside of my email inbox, I should now see this labeled. You could see it now has the label AI client. Think about this guys, we now inside of Gmail can have automatic automations that are triggered without us having to do anything. And I made that in literally one prompt. It took me about two minutes to make this. So I obviously showed you guys how you could access this on the web app here inside of Workspace Studio. But if you wanna access this, you could also come into your Gmail account, click on this studio button, and then you could basically discover different templates here that you could actually recreate and add yourself in one simple click. Or you could click on specific agents that you have. So you could see that I actually created a couple other ones. So this one gets news headlines summarized every single day. So on a schedule, it basically on Monday at 8 a.m. will send me basically an update with any news headlines that I need to be aware of. And it uses Gemini to do this and then sends me an email. Another thing we could do is we could check our activity of our agents directly inside of Gmail using this little studio widget here. So you could see that this one successfully ran. This is the one that I just showed you guys about this AI project. Um, it decided that it was true and it actually added that email and sent me that chat. So let's now talk about whether or not I think that this could replace something like Anyden or Zapier. And I'm going to be honest, I don't think this is going to fully replace the need for something like those platforms. However, if you are using AI agents and using AI inside of your email inbox and for scheduling different meetings with Google Meet, or you're using AI automations inside of your Google Documents and all of these native apps that Google has, I think that this could really streamline that process for you. It's extremely easy to use. You could simply just come inside of Gmail, click on this studio button, and you could begin building a simple agent just by giving it a basic prompt here. I think there are a lot of people that right now are using something like NADN to create these different email automations or workflow automations with these specific apps that I think you could use right now inside of Workspace Studio. And it's basically free if you have access to this. You need to pay for a Workspace business account, but I think that's about like $25 per month. And I think over time, they're gonna be rolling this out to probably any user of Google Workspace. So my final thought, my final verdict here is if you're creating really specific AI automations and agents with NADN that are using your specific data and your specific applications that are outside of the Google ecosystem, then this probably won't work for you. But if you are using tools like NADN or make.com to create these automations inside of your Gmail or your email inbox, I think that this will replace the need for that. And personally, I have a bunch of different automations set up inside of NADN that basically I could now create in 
a couple of sentences inside of Workspace Studio that I'm gonna do because it's way simpler for me to do that. It's cheaper for me to do that and I could do it directly inside of my platform. And I don't need to worry about, you know, whether or not the API connection is working properly because this is all seamlessly integrated into this workspace in the Google ecosystem here. So guys, there you have it. That is my review on the new Google Workspace Studio. I think this is gonna be extremely beneficial for a lot of people who don't wanna have to learn how to use any then because it could be a bit complex. You can now do it directly inside of your email inbox here. And I think it gets 90% of the job done. So guys, with that being said, if you guys got some value from this video, leave a like, subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And let me know what you think about this update. Do you think this is something you're gonna use? Is it gonna replace any then for you? I'm actually curious to hear. So let me know in the comments below. Thanks for staying to the end and I will see you guys in the next video.